Hi, I'm Johnny and I'm building work from homeland. The problem is that remote work kills serendipity and social connection. We lost the unplanned chats at your desk, the casual conversation at the coffee machine and the energetic brainstorming sessions. What we got instead was Zoom quizzes and personal text chat. The solution, a multiplayer space where a team can be together remotely from when you open your laptop until the end of the workday. But the next office won't look like an office. We miss the people, not the cubicles. Instead, work from homeland is a virtual island which you co-create with your team. And I'll show you a little video. So just opening the app from the menu bar, I'm gonna unmute myself and so then my nearby teammates can hear me. If I open the team directory, I'm gonna give Julio a little nudge to come join me on the island. Switching to the island view, I can see who's around me, what conversations are happening. I can also see what meetings are currently happening and so therefore who's not available but when they will next be available. I can walk in between conversations, changing who can hear me and vice versa. Or I can even go and play with the office dog. Hmm. Work from Hamland is all about creating a shared now. It's synchronous and ephemeral. Brainstorm and communicate with higher bandwidth by being live in the moment. Feel like you're sitting at the same table. Have spontaneous conversations without broadcasting to everyone in the room. And even just walk over and talk to other coworkers just like you would in a real office. And it's designed to be left in the background. It's an invisible open audio channel between you and your team, just like when you're sitting together. You can also see who's in a meeting at a glance, so no more checking calendars individually. And see and join your team in their work. Just click to hop into an app and collaborate. And it's the best of an office remapped for a virtual environment. Office speakers are now a synchronized shared music playlist. And if you're missing the ping pong table, get the playfulness back with in-game meetings. Now this doesn't mean it's gonna be a distraction. Switch it to focus mode at any time and teammates will see that you're currently busy and it turns off audio. Where are we headed? We're becoming a launch pad for conversational micro apps and folding in real-time collaboration and co-browsing. Milestone so far, we have 250 teams on the wait list and a closed trial with 10 teams using it every day. Thank you. And uh, if you wanna trial it, go to workfromhome.land uh, and we're currently raising 400K and hiring. Very cool. You know, it's interesting. So many people are experimenting with different modalities now to create that spontaneity. And so it's kind of a cool concept. And if I, I just want to summarize to make sure I really understand it. It's like in the island, I, I will sit somewhere. I will put my figurine somewhere, my avatar somewhere. And, and where I put my avatar represents a certain mode for me. Is that right? Yeah. Just like um, how in an office you kind of ad hoc, uh, like sort of gather somewhere like uh, yeah. the default is to sit with people at your desks and so if by doing that in the app you're basically able to talk to your desk mates instantly but you could also you know go to one part of the island or you could go to like the beach or yeah kind of one of the questions is just what is the primary use case that you're seeing or the mode that you're seeing right now for how people are using the product? So you see a mixture of things. Some people have started to use it as an office replacement and that's kind of like the direction of travel. Obviously it's quite exploratory and we've got like a little bit of work to do to get them to use it for eight hours continuously. Otherwise, so sometimes teams use it as a fun social space. So for instance, say they're having Friday drinks or something like that. It's a, it's a good alternative to Zoom because people are bored and looking at these rectangles of each other's faces and nothing else like it's good to be able to do something with people instead of just looking at them and then people also just use it for having slightly more fun versions of meetings so uh, we've seen that some teams will just be like okay let's just get together and work from home right now and when they do that though they're looking at the app they're looking at the island and the avatars that's what they're looking at yeah but it's designed so there's kind of like two modes so there's like that very visual mode and you can like run around this uh, like game type meetings etc so it's like a very visual fun spatial experience but the opposite side of it is there's an in, kind of like an invisible mode which is you leave the app on in the background so mac menu bar app um, and you can just talk you can just it's just like leaving a facetime call open all day basically yeah. and you can, you can choose to opt in and out of it but whoever you're sitting next to that's who you can talk to you know because the ecosystem has like everybody's experiencing this pain right now and there's there's so many different attacks at the at the same need, it feels to me like you have to, you have to know what you're really going to be used for. Like maybe it's kind of more creative teams, maybe it's younger teams, or like I, I, I have no idea what it what it would be. Smaller groups, bigger groups. Like what what to you? Like if you think about like the white hot center of the need here, what is the the team? 
what would you describe as like this this is our perfect candidate uh, great question so what we've seen and like where it really seems to hit is both startup teams and like creative agencies and the sort of sweet spots in terms of size is kind of between about five and 16 people that the 16 people is just because of, at the moment the islands are not massive uh, but in like a future iteration of it it would maybe be a little bit more Google Maps, like where you can zoom in and out or uh, even like switching between islands. Current niche is very much, uh, yeah, creative teams. It's kind of, it resonates really strongly with 90s kids because at the moment it looks a little bit like Pokemon. Yeah, got it. Okay. I think you got to double down then on that persona. You talked about the apps. What are like the first app or apps that you have in your mind right now? Yeah, so one of the things that's going to come up first will be spatial stand-ups. Actually, it's like a classic thing with a stand-up is, uh, you know, who is it next? And this is like by virtue of actually having a body in this environment, there's a kind of natural order to it. And so you kind of spatialize that. We're basically trying to take the ways people already use an office and then abstract them. Even the focus mode that's built into the app abstracts the way that people use headphones as a kind of social signal of being busy or not. So we're just trying to take natural behaviors but not, you know, not over-engineer it, but create, you know, our version of it. Hopefully it's the beginning of something great.